Welcome back. You've seen it on Grey's Anatomy. The road to becoming a doctor isn't easy. One of the toughest real life experiences for many students is the first time they cut into a cadaver. But now there's something new. Digital cadavers. Our health reporter Krista Kruger looks at how this revolutionary teaching tool is giving anatomy lessons new life. You start by making an incision. Forget about frogs. When it comes to dissection, these students are turning to felons. No kidding. This prisoner donated his body to science, his actual cadaver being used in the world's first virtual dissection table. As much as it is a virtual body, they were real bodies that were donated to the company that the company then froze, sliced up kind of like on a deli slicer and, and took these really detailed scans and put it back together. This is so He's a huge guy. The innovative 3D anatomage table allows students to virtually explore full-sized human bodies layer by layer. With a swipe of a finger, the kids make cuts and slices and are able to explore every bone, muscle, and tissue in vivid detail. It gives a more kind of a an in-depth view of what you could possibly see in, you know, besides the actual body being there. There are only 400 of these anatomage tables in the entire United States, and most of them are at medical schools and universities. But St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale is one of a handful of high schools using this interactive technology. Students thinking of becoming doctors, nurses, athletic trainers, all vying to get into this one-of-a-kind class. It's helped me understand like po body parts and understand like where they all are and what's getting injured and all the muscles and tissues and everything. So you're able to um, like press like a certain vein and then it shows you the blood flow from where that vein goes. Catherine and Leo are seniors at St. Thomas. They help me dissect our felon who they call Nick. I have to say, for this wannabe doctor, the experience was an eye-opener. With thousands of images, case studies, and pathologies, these virtual cadavers are in some ways even better than physical cadavers that you can only use once and are expensive to preserve and clean. You can do virtual cuts, so surgical students can come and really practice, you know, doing an appendectomy or, you know, they can see the layers of the body if they were going to do an open heart surgery. Linking science and technology to shape medical minds for the future. In Fort Lauderdale, I'm Christy Krueger, Local 10 News. Well, the virtual dissection table may look familiar to you. The doctors on Grey's Anatomy used the table last season when they were prepping for a big surgery.